Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I wanna provide some clarification on something that I'm quite passionate about, that we have quite a number of people involved in, but they're still a bit hazy to others who may not necessarily be in the IT world or in the technology world, but may find still relevant. And that's the topic of open source. What is open source? What are open source tools? What opportunities do open source tools create for an environment or a community like ours? Now, one of the reasons why I'm very fascinated about open source is because it's free. And when I say free, which people bandy around, I don't necessarily mean free in price, even though a lot of open source tools and applications are free, but because we mean freedom to use. So the term open source actually refers to software, what's source code. And when we say source code, for those of you who don't understand, when you, when you program a software or when you create a software, you write different types of code or programming code to create or allow the software to function in a particular way. Now, for proprietary software, um, like the ones you're used to, Microsoft, ETC, an organization or, or a company may create that application or software and to provide or protect it and to stop other people from copying it or exchanging it. They close that software, which means that the code that is written to make the software work is not open or free to use by people who buy it. You know, So you, you, you have to trust the vendors, you know, discretion in terms of how or what is written in the source code and what's in it. But with open source, you can run the application, you can use the application, and you can see what code was used to write the application. And in a lot of cases, you can actually change or build up on it. And so the fascinating thing about open source, like I said, it gives you that freedom in many cases to play around with it, even though it's not always the case in all open source software. So there's a big debate between what is open source and what is free software. But to, in most cases, it's much, much, much cheaper than its counterpart proprietary software. It's built on with a, with a larger community base and, and there's a lot of cost savings because it's much cheaper. Most of the time, the costings come more from having support or buying a support version and, and the labor that goes with customizing it to your, your, your requirements. Now, when you think of proprietary software, a lot of times when you pick something off the shelf and it meets your particular need or was built with your type of business in mind, it's not such a big deal if you can afford it. But when it wasn't built for you and you try to localize it or change the dynamics or it to work for you, it can be a hustle and a pain, which is where open source really gets exciting because because it's it's the, the, the open, first of all the soft, software is open for you and because there are so many different people working on it there are so many customizations available and there's so much flexibility in building on it for your organization of what it is that you need you have a great community that's ready to support now some of you may say why don't i just build from scratch well what's the point in reinventing the wheel you know instead of building a software from scratch from from the very basic if you already have something that's a similar or close to what it is that you want to or you need and you just customize it to what it is that you want so it's exactly the way you want it, it's much better. And for me, open source allows you to have that freedom to say, this is what the service I want to provide. This is how I want to do it. Let me find a tool that satisfies that need. As opposed to in the past, you were saying, this is what I want to do. There's a software that's similar to what I want to do. How do I tailor or change my business processes just a little bit so this software can meet my needs? That flexibility wasn't as much as is in the case here. When it comes to a lot of the open source tools, for example, um, with operating systems like Linux and Unix and ETC, security was part of the foundation for which they were built. So they tend to be a lot more secure. This is also debatable. But uh, the fact that you at least see what exactly is going in your code allows you to audit it properly and see if 
maybe any trap doors or back doors put in to, to steal your information or do anything else of the sort. So it gives you that flexibility, which is something I like. It's also interoperable. And when we say interoperable, it means it works with other systems, which are also open source because it's built to be flexible and to adapt as much. So it's much more adaptive than using a proprietary so that may not necessarily be compatible with anything else that you're using. And that, that, that's quite a bit in terms of quality because of a lot more people building on it. So um, I'll, I'll definitely advise you for whatever your next venture is, if you're especially in this part of town where resources can be quite constrained, to consider using an open source alternative to whatever it is you're pushing. I mean, open source, currently there's so much in the world of open source, the actual ERP solutions, enterprise resource planning solutions, the open source tools for HR, the open source tools for building websites, the open source tools for setting up blogs, the open source tools for building shop markets, e-commerce sites, etc. If you don't really have the knowledge, you can always find a developer around who is well versed in that particular market to help you out. And, and it creates so much opportunity for the market, jobs, creativity, coming up with different things that will work for us. I mean, as a whole, for in, in terms of where we come from in Ghana, it, it's, 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 it's amazing the opportunities that it will create for the environment that we're in. So check it out, try it out, get involved with the open source movement, stay empowered.